enabling independent navigation for visually impaired people through a wearable, vision-based feedback system. By Xue Cheng Wang, Robert Kutschman, Santani Teng, Brandon Araki, Laura Giare, and Daniela Rus. We enable a blind user to navigate through a complex indoor environment. The system helps the user avoid obstacles and navigate through narrow passable gaps. The system includes a depth camera, an embedded computer, a vibration belt for haptic feedback, and a refreshable braille display for scene descriptions. What can our system do to complement a white cane, the most common mobility aid in use today? A survey we conducted suggests that canes are helpful in tracing physical features of the environment, but less useful in identifying specific objects or avoiding contact in crowded environments. Walking a maze without touching the walls requires using the system for fine-grained navigation, similarly to crowded environments where one might wish to minimize cane contacts. This visualization shows the onboard color and depth images displayed in relation to the user's orientation and position image. The five vibration motors are shown as red or blue dots behind the user, indicating vibration on or off. We tested how well the system could help a user find a target object, in this case an empty chair, in a space with distractor objects, in this case an occupied chair and a recycling bin. Using only the cane, the user moved quickly and confidently, sampling every obstacle before finding the correct target. Using only the system, the user moved more cautiously, but identified the correct target from farther away without guessing first. Using both the cane and system, the user again identified the target from a distance, but found the chair as quickly as with the cane alone. We also tested how well the system could help users navigate in some real-world environment. We had users follow a tactile paved path at Tamkang University, Taiwan while trying not to contact pedestrians or experimenters with their canes. With some practice, they were able to detect people with the system before making contact with their cane. Here, a user navigates the hallways of our lab at MIT. Using only the system's haptic feedback, he detects corners at a construction site and a bench below knee level, all before making physical contact. This work was inspired by the vision of the late Professor Seth Teller. We're grateful to him for his leadership in this important field. We're also thankful for the help from Jordan Alspa, Xi Xi Chen, Yi Wei Wang, Nicole Jimenez, Niqing Lin, Paul Paravano, and Grace Teo. This research was supported by the National Science Foundation, the Andrea Bocelli Foundation, the MIT Office of the Vice President for Research, and MOST Taiwan.